give it to something that's a little on the creative side. You know, sometimes disaster forces you to completely reinvent yourself or you design a house that cannot be contained. The whole thing started with um, losing my house in Hurricane Irma and a tree fell and uh, just destroyed the house. It was a massive oak tree and it just snapped off at the root. And um, we were in the house when it happened. Because uh, I had gone through Ma Matthew and the tree survived Matthew and I thought, oh, it, it's safe, you know, because I had gone to another location for Matthew. But Obviously, that didn't work out for Rob De Piazza and his daughter. Rob used to own a gallery in St. Augustine and considered using containers to open a new art space. After Irma's destruction, he switched his focus, though in hindsight... You know, clearly, like, my ignorance was a factor because it's way more difficult than you would think, you know. Like, if I would known from the beginning it would take nine months just to do the plans, I would have done something else because I thought when the house came down, I was like, okay, this is going to kill a year, a year of my life, you know. And um, so when we got the permits and everything, that was exciting. And then... Six months later, it was like, why am I doing this? He says the purpose of the containers is to give the container vibe, which is why the interior walls of containers married together look the way they do, but also offer comfort, which is why the exterior walls are insulated. Let's talk dimensions. Each one's 320 square feet. It's eight, eight feet by 40 feet. Um, so this particular floor is two containers. So it's 640. The, there's a container next to us that's connected uh, with the bedrooms, that's 320. And then upstairs is another 640. So it's exactly 1,600 square feet. And my old house was 1,600. Adding this upper container to get the volume, to get the height, because it's, uh, these are called high cubes, and so they're nine foot six inside, framed down for the ceiling, it's nine, about nine feet. So to that ceiling's 18 feet which does help, like it, it makes it feel a lot bigger. Uh, in designing the house, there were extra precautions taken in case another hurricane decides to visit. Yeah, they, they're like hurricane shutters. What we did was, um, so these are storefront windows and we set them back in the opening so we could close the, the, the uh, container doors uh, when, you know, when we have bad weather or hurricanes. But, um, and then where you see like on this container behind that wall is a door. So we had to seal it up and, and, you know, kind of bolt it shut. But it feels way more spacious than 1,600 square feet. And the vibe inside will definitely have visitors connected with a comfortable, artsy feeling. On the outside, Rob had a vision of how to paint the house, but it didn't fit his budget. So an artist friend of his painted the story of the house for anyone who drives by to interpret. The original plan with that tilting container was for it to be, uh, for the inside to be like a, a street art gallery, which is still, that, it's still kind of the plan. Um, and then literally it was, I mean, we made the decision that, to make this change. Um, we put the mural on the outside. And, uh, and then Kane, the artist from Barcelona who painted it, um, his paintings tell a story. And so uh, pretty much at the last minute, we're like, well, Let's tell the story of Irma. Rob has a final thought on his unique home design. Yeah, I mean, I think just because it's so unique and, and you really don't see anything outside of the vernacular uh, here very often, you know, people appreciate it. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live.